All right, so first, you just wanna wash the body as good as you can. Give it a good scrub. I recommend washing it twice. Um, if you think you've washed it really well the first time, wash it the second time because you don't want to miss something and have the paint sort of bubble up with some grease or something like that. Give it a good rinse. Um, you know, I like to sort of give it a bit of a shake. It gets most of the water off pretty quickly. And let it naturally air dry. Uh, here I am just putting on the window stickers. So you just want to put them on nice and even and then score around the edges with like your fingernail. So you need to make sure the edges are stuck down nice and tight so the paint doesn't go underneath the sticker. That's it, just run your finger all the way along the edges. Do it a couple of times to be sure. Make sure you've got some uh, Lexan or plastic paint. And uh, your first coat, you wanna make it really light. You wanna sort of put something on there to allow the paint to stick to. Um, so just really light, gentle strokes. And just you just wanna sort of mist it on for the first layer. Um, and then you kind of let it dry for, you know, 30 seconds or so. And then you just work on another light layer, you know, just a little bit more. And then, you know, you might wait you know, a couple of minutes and then put on another, you know, slightly heavier layer. And uh, by the time you've done that about two or three times, you should be good to sort of, um, you know, put a slightly heavier layer on there to fill and, and just to give it a proper uh, finish. So just little gentle strokes and just continue doing that. Um, you know, by avoiding like close and heavy strokes, you won't get any runs on your paint. Uh, for me, I used a full can of Tamiya paint to paint this body. And so this is me giving it kind of like its uh, third coat. So here, I'll uh, actually go on a lot more sort of uh, heavier than the first coats. So here I'm actually trying to sort of cover it all. And I think after this, I'll just give it one more coat. So I think that's the fourth coat that I kind of give it. Just even, gentle strokes. And then by spinning it around, you kind of want to get into all of those little corners, into the back parts, into all the grooves. And so by sort of spraying in four different directions, you'll get yourself in all of them. So this is some joint tape. This is like a drywall joint tape. Shugu, this is the closest thing to Shugu we've got here. And I just bought some cheap crappy sort of brushes to brush the goo on. So I've stuck some uh, drywall tape into the spots that I know will break. And here I am just sort of gluing it down. So um, I, I did this a little bit too soon after painting the body and the, the the glue itself reacted a little bit with the paint um, but you know you just want to sort of reinforce it so the body lasts as long as possible so I kind of started off with one layer and then I put a little bit more on there and a bit more shugu just to give it a bit of reinforcement and then you cut out the decals you want to put on there so I try and go more minimal with my decals. Um, I don't like to put too much stuff on there. So there's the finished body. Uh, it looks quite nice. I was really happy with it. And uh, stick it on. Try and get it as centered as possible. Um, you know, just take it nice and easy. I'm sort of uh, a little bit sort of just throw it on there and uh, she'll be right, mate. Uh, but I've, you know, pretty experienced with stickers and stuff like that. And so yeah, you start from the middle and then you kind of wipe it one way and then the other way and you just want to try and get any bubbles out of it and just smooth it down. I kind of like the look of this body with just the grill and these black headlights. You know, I kind of want it to sort of feel like a, a race car, you know, because um, it is a race car. It's just a small remote control version race car. And uh, that's 
practically about it. So there you can see the, the front. Um, I just went for a plain simple colour this time. Um, if I was to do it again, I'd probably pay someone else to do a custom paintwork because I'm not a custom paintwork person. Just give me a rattle can and I'll spray it on. Um, if you want to see a finished version of this, I'll put a link down below where you can see the, the truck um, all finished up. There you go. Washed, painted, window uh, cutouts put on and stickers.